Welcome back to Jersey Matters. You know that kids in schools get lunches. Many you've heard about get breakfast. What about supper? Well, that's happening. Adele Latourette is the director of Hunger Free New Jersey. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for Let's having me. Let's start off with the obvious. What is Hunger Free New Jersey? Hunger Free New Jersey is an anti-hunger policy organization that seeks to maximize access to federal feeding programs to every person in New Jersey who's eligible. Federal feeding programs, including supper, which I don't think a lot of people know that that's available to children in, in grade school or grade schools and high schools? Grade schools and high schools. And what is after school supper exactly? After school supper, really what it does is it continues where breakfast and lunch leave off and it allows children to eat a supper at the end of the school day, really at the end of after school activities. I th it's, it's interesting because I think that the, the breakfast, most people thought, well, that makes sense. It helps with the learning. The supper, I, I think there's a number of people that would think that's beyond the responsibility of a school. I think that's possibly true. I think what we have to recognize is that as we have a majority of parents in the workforce, children are in school, in school day or in after school programs for a very long time. So we need to make sure that they're fed and taken care of when they're there. And so why are the suppers, in your view, important? I know why supper and dinners are important in general, but why is it important that the federal government get involved to make certain these kids get suppers? I think what we're seeing more and more is families struggling to feed their kids. And I know employment is high, but also when we look at employment, we see people who are pack, you know, they're patching jobs together, they're making minimum wage. People are struggling to feed their kids, so the more you offer the opportunity in schools to feed kids, the more we'll have kids who don't go hungry. And there's absolute definitive data on that, 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 people, that children are lacking in suppers and dinners? Absolutely. Yeah, sure. And, and how dramatic? Give me some numbers. Well, I think it's really hard to quantify. What we are only serving, I mean, we could serve so many more suppers. So even though we've gone up by 34% in New Jersey, um, what we see is kids who the place that they eat is in school. So is that your analytics? So that you, you say we've gone up 34% in giving the suppers. So you're saying that because it went up 34%, there are 34% more children that need a supper, assuming that everybody that comes is absolutely in need? I think you can say in those schools where suppers are being served or could be served, absolutely those children are in need. And, and I, uh, I was reading your report, and I know that it says that in New Jersey right now, it, it's up to 9% of right. the children that, and, and of 9% of what children exactly? 9% of the 100, 9% uh, of every 100 child, children who are served lunch, free reduced lunch. So, so you already know they're in need. That's right. That's you exactly already know right. they're in need mm -hmm. because they qualify for the lunch, but the only 9% are coming for the supper right. afterwards. Uh, why not more? I think schools don't know about after-school suppers. I think the word is really just getting out. I think they know about after-school snacks, which can be served through the school lunch program. But I think they also have to recognize the need in their schools. And that's something that we've really been working with the educational community to let them know, is that when you're looking at the number of kids serving breakfast and lunch and snacks, you can go the next step and serve suppers and it makes a huge difference in these kids' lives. This whole thing is federally funded? Absolutely. You're, you're a nonprofit, so the money that you get from there is, is completely from the federal government? Uh, the money for those programs is completely from the federal government. We don't get the money. The schools actually get the money. And they have, uh, they, I, I don't know how to phrase this, but they, they have a, I don't know if it's a requirement, I guess they have a goal of 15%, right? The national goal is 15 of every 100 kids served lunch. So we are not there yet. If we reach that goal, we could bring an additional 20 million federal dollars into the state. And I think it's a really good goal to aspire to. So the, the funding is tied to how many kids get the fund? Absolutely, yeah. So what can be done to make the schools know about this program? It seems like that's, that's a shortfall that can easily be solved. That's right. So we are working with the New Jersey Department of Ag to get the message out. We just released our after schools report. And we are working with the education community to let schools know that this program is out there. And it's not a heavy lift. I think the perception is that it's a difficult program to administer and to do, and it's not. It's really not. And it really can make a difference in their numbers. It, it, one thing we didn't deal with is why this is important. Why is it so important for a child to have supper? I know they're getting breakfast, they're getting mm -hmm. lunch. Why supper? It's important because sometimes, far too often, schools are the only place where kids eat. 
they don't eat at home because there's no food at home. So we have to work to ensure that all these programs are accessible to kids who are hungry. Well, it's as simple as that. Now, ho hopefully there's some people that are attached to schools out there that may not be providing this or are not providing enough. How do they get a hold of you? They can go to our website, which is hungerfreenj.org, and they can get in touch with any one of us, and we can help them through the process and let them know how it works. Well, thanks so much for being here to talk about Thank it. Thank you so much for having Hopefully me. Hopefully it helps. Adele LaTourette, director of Hunger Free New Jersey. Jersey Matters continues right after this. Still to come on Jersey Matters, the legacy of a local hero lives on to help other veterans. We'll explain when Jersey Matters returns.